Good morning from day 95. We stopped at Collingham Shelter yesterday and it was a really good sleep. Yeah, unfortunately we got there a little late and there was already a guy in there. He was trying to sleep. He let us make our meals and everything, but we didn't want to get any footage there. So uh, we're on our trek now and stick around. We're gonna be hitting a big one today. Check out this beaver bog I just ran into. It's insane because they do so well at capturing the water. From where I'm standing, the water level is definitely above me. But somehow all this grass is able to like contain it all. Very cool. The water here is below these bog boards. Maybe about a foot down. About 0.3 from our shelter spot for lunch and we see another huge, beautiful bog here. Look at it, so cool. We have our little lizard friends again in this bog. Let me see if I can see one for you guys. Oh, there's one right here too. Oh, there he goes, he's running. We've got some leeches. Whoa, look at that. Is he going into the sand? I think he is. Yep, wow, going down into the sand. That's pretty crazy. Look at that, disappearing. Let's see, we got a couple of the lizards huddling up here. I don't know what they're up to. We have noticed this sack here. And when you look at it closely, it kind of looks like there might be a baby lizard like forming over there. We think they're egg sacks. You can see there's lizards there, all right next to it. If you look out there, there's really big ones underwater out there. And this is a ton of them, too. Crazy. Are these egg sacs? Here is another viewpoint of the beaver bog we were just looking at. So big. So cool, we get to walk right along it. And just popped out at another power line spot. Sometimes we see that, we're like, oh, it's gonna be power lines. And we forget that these things come with amazing views. Both ways, check that out. Closer and closer to some windmills. You can see those things ripping. It is windy right now, especially in this little channel. Look how far these power line track goes. All the way down there. This is a common sound we've been seeing for a while now. <laughs> Not too often you see that on the trail. Very cool, dirt bikes. Woo! Just came out to this very, very flooded road. Look at these puddles. And look at this gigantic moose print. That's gonna be a pretty big moose. I wanna find that one. Check out this huge rock. It's on top of other little smaller rocks, making me a little strange. Wondering how they got here on top of smaller rocks. But I think there might be an opening underneath it. Let's see. What's under there? <laughs> oh, hey. I've been waiting here forever. Man, where were you? I got here like an hour before you. Really? You gotta take a nap. How's it feel? It's very comfy. On your bed of leaves. <laughs> I love it. We think there might be a grouse on the side here somewhere. We just heard one and we think we saw some movement on the brush. So check this out. We've got triplets. <laughs> and as you can see coming up, we've got some twins. And what else could we have? Oh, oh, you are definitely the black sheep of the family. <laughs> well, it's been an amazing 150 miles, but time has come. Goodbye, Vermont! Goodbye, Vermont. <laughs>
goodbye to our long trail. We've been with the long trail for the past 105 miles and it's been so nice to meet all the LT hikers. Yeah, it's really cool. So, good luck have, to you guys. We haven't seen many ATers, so it's cool that there's a whole other trail that's mixed with it and we got to meet them all. That's the start of the long trail. 273 miles north to Canada is how that goes. It kind of veers off and goes up to Canada. But looks like we haven't exactly made it to the state line yet. But we are not that far away. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna walk backwards and I'm probably gonna trip. Oh my gosh, let's not do that. No repeats of yesterday. Get in here. Welcome to Massachusetts! Fourth <laughs> state on our journey. Number four. Yeah, 150 miles, so pretty good. Technically, we're not in there yet. Let's jump in oh, there. Shoot. Oh, shoot. Hey. <laughs> Feels good. Feels really good. Making our way through the trail when we slept upon this sign, you are traveling through the homelands of the Mohican people the indigenous inhabitants of this land. Please respect this land during your journey. And we will, we shall, we love this land. And coming out to what's called the rock garden. It doesn't look like there's any more of the tiny little rock carrying sculptures here. I saw some pictures from the past. People stacked the rocks in those little formations. They were kind of all over this thing. But unfortunately, looks like somebody knocked them all down. Guess what guys, we have here. <laughs> it's moving a little bit. Oh, there he goes with a white tail. <laughs> yep, so we saw him and another one. We literally haven't seen deer on our whole stretch. And back where we're from, there's just deer everywhere. Mike says he has one in front of him. Oh, you little dear. Guys, staring at me in the face. I can't even see him. He's right there. <laughs> this is a good boy. Hi. This is so cool because I was just talking about how it reminds me of like a Bambi area. And here it is. Found Bambi. We're even closer now. He is literally 10 feet. Oh. <laughs> My friend. Walking the trail, we're really getting to see some cool stuff. Hello. First time it popped out to a view. Wow. Right along the trail too. So cool. And we finally made it to our tent site of the night. And with that guys, we're gonna say good night. <laughs> Yeah, we're just gonna set up our tent and grab some water. Check out this beautiful bridge we're walking before hitting the road. It's a nice river there, a stream, big old rocks lining the sides. It's a very cute area here. I'm not too sure who would these buildings belong to. But this is definitely the 18. Guess where we are. Good morning from day 96. <laughs> Halfway done already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't catch it in time. <laughs> we are just leaving the diner now. So full, oh so God. happy. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have a 1.5 mile walk to stop and shop. <laughs> get our resupply. Oh yeah, and then we're going to get picked up by a really good friend, Skippy. Hey! <laughs> he just finished his journey yesterday. One of our Sobo buddies. And he's going to drive up an hour to pick up another one of our Sobo buddies, an hour more to pick up another Sobo buddy, and then an hour more to pick us up because we're at the tail end. <laughs> And we're gonna have a big Sobo party. How cool, he's gonna drive us down. We're all gonna meet at a central location, have some great dinner. We're gonna have a little camp out and then we'll get up in the morning and he'll drop everybody <laughs> off because he's just the most amazing guy. Skippy, can't wait to see you, buddy. Yay, can't wait to celebrate It'll be a fun little day here, you. just a celebration day. And then we'll get back on trail tomorrow. It's always a big day when one of us finishes the AT. Woo! <laughs> Check it out. 
I was just saying Massachusetts has like a lot of American history and next thing you know, BAM! <laughs> Look at this view. Eagle. Look at the mountains out in the distance too. Wow. Cool little town over the river. I mean, this is just a, a sight to see right here. All the way down there is a farmer's market, but it's closed today. But check out these buildings. They're so old time. Like this bridge, for example. <laughs> I just thought you guys would like to see. So that whole building that we just passed was called Greylock Works. And you can see this Greylock Club right here. Why is everything called Greylock? Because right out there, we've got Mount Greylock. It could be one of those two or just behind it because Mount Williams is in front of Greylock but it is the tallest mountain in Massachusetts that we are hitting right away into Massachusetts here. I'm not gonna hit it today, obviously. We're going out to party, but tomorrow we shall be going up that mountain range. It looks beautiful today. Man, I hope we have the same weather tomorrow. Look at these skies, crystal clear. Just look at this gorgeous view. And then, bam, whose head is this? Does anyone know? We're in Williamstown, Massachusetts. I mean, why is it protected by Bob wire fences? <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> All resupplied up. Let's see, we didn't get too much because we only have a two day stretch coming up until we hit a, another awesome town. But something specific to this resupply that we haven't done yet. We're going to have some nice tea, but very specific tea the Bigelow tea. Remember that episode? We do. That was an amazing mountain range. One of our first really, really cool experiences on a mountaintop with really good views. So, uh, it's gonna be delicious. I also got really good um, platones. They look delicious. Plantains. I'm stealing a big one. <laughs> That's a big old one. Not bad. Mm -hmm. And we've got our ride <laughs> with the <laughs> <laughs> And we gotta give a big congrats to Skippy. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> Skippy has. And Smiling Jim, another one that we were there at the end of his journey. We're gonna go meet him. All celebrate. This is so cool. What a good little vibe. You know, like, dude, you don't know what to say. You're just like standing. She expected the room to be empty, and here there are like two.